Hi folks, I'm Joe with Premier One Supplies, and today we're going to unbox our Solar IntelliShock 60 Energizer. This is a very similar process for each of our Solar IntelliShock units, the 30, 60, 120, 120X, and 180. So let's get started. First, open up the box. Just point out right off the bat, we have a stop. Please read this. It says stop for safety reasons. Your energizer is shipped with the battery disconnected. So we must connect the battery before using. And then also remove the shipping bolts from the handle and install the black knobs found in the bag. Wonder what's in the bag. So we'll remove this piece of cardboard and in it you'll find a fence tester. That way you can monitor the voltage of your fence. We have a ground and fence lead, the mentioned black knobs, and in this box is a 110 volt recharger. So as soon as you unbox this we would recommend just plugging it in for a little while just to top off the batteries depending how long they've sat in transit. It may have depleted a little bit. And that way you start off fencing with a full battery. And we'll pull out the energizer. Double check the box to see if there are any instructions or notes. There are not. And we'll set this off to the side. The instructions for the unit are included in this bag. So this is a Solar IntelliShock 60. It's a 0.6 joule energizer. We have 0.3, 1.2, and 1.8 available. And we're going to remove the shipping bolts and replace them with the threaded knobs. And I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the bolts. It's very helpful to have the wrench rather than trying to undo that initially by hand. They can be pretty tight. Now I'm done with the wrench. So we will loosen these knobs and doing so allows you to adjust the solar panel uh, depending on the time of year. So if you're in the summer months when the sun is high in the sky, you'll want it nearly uh, horizontal. You want it to best parallel the sun as best as it can to get the most sunlight on this panel throughout the day. And in the cooler months, winter and spring, depending which unit you're using, you're going to want this in more of a horizontal position, once again, to best match the angle of the sun to maximize the amount of sunlight going on this panel. I'll set it at, uh, I believe that's 60 degrees for the moment. To open your box, pinch right there, pinch that tab, and put pressure on the base of the energizer. Press up to unlock and open the energizer. There's a piece of cardboard that holds the battery still during shipping. We'll remove that and discard it. Inside the energizers on the 30s and 60s, you will find a U-shaped ground spike. This is your ground rod for the energizer. So you'll place this in, in the ground and connect your ground lead from the energizer to this when you're ready to go and fence. So we'll put that back in, but I just want to make sure you know that this is where the ground rod or ground spike for the energizer on the 30s and 60s is located inside the container. So if you don't find one right off 
in the shipping container, make sure to look in the energizer. And if you're missing one in the energizer, give us a call and we'll help you out. Now we need to connect the battery. There's a piece of tape holding the negative lead down. So we'll remove this. Discard. And there's a plastic cap on the battery lead and the negative lead or negative terminal of the battery. We'll remove these. Discard. And attach the negative lead to the negative terminal of the battery. To set up the batteries for a 120 and a 120X, remove them from the unit as I've done, and remove the labels, and attach the lead to the corresponding terminal. So negative to negative, and the same for this battery. Negative to negative. And return to the energizer. Now I'm ready to put the battery back in the energizer. and close. As I mentioned earlier, it's usually a good idea to plug this in for a little while just to top off the batteries. With the AC adapter, you can do two things. You can run the Energizer as a plug-in unit or you can recharge the battery. Since we've just unboxed this from shipping, I'm going to top off the battery. And all you need to do is plug in this adapter, open this port, and insert the recharging recharging device. Once you've done that for a couple hours, you can check your battery if you have a battery meter or a multimeter. Or another simple way to do that is hit the on-off switch. If it's blinking green, green, that means your Energizer's battery is topped off. If it blinks green, red, that means you need to get it to a recharger or an outlet to recharge or just turn it off and let it sit in the sun for a few hours to top off the battery. If it blinks red, red, you should have recharged it yesterday and you're drying too far down on your battery. And drying too far down on your battery means going beyond a 40% charge and that hurts the battery's ability to maintain a full charge or to be recharged. Next, we'll undo the fence terminal. And that is a red knob on these units. I'll open this package and I'll take out the orange lead. And there is a small hole in this terminal for the fence lead to be inserted. So I'll hold that with one finger as I rethread. And I'll turn around and do that for the negative or ground terminal the black connections. I'll insert that. Now once we go out to the pasture and are ready to energize our fence, this black lead will connect to our ground spike or ground rod system. And this fence terminal will connect to our uh, stainless steel clips at the end of the netting or at your uh, best metal metal point on your uh, portable pasture fencing. As you can see, the solar IntelliShock setup is relatively simple and straightforward. The 30, 60, and 180 have a single battery on the inside and the 120 and 120X have a double battery setup on the inside. The difference between the 120 and the 120X is the size of the solar panel. The larger solar panel of the 120X allows you to use the uh, energizer in cloudier environments or in northern climates when there's low light scenarios in winter months. Uh, that way that added capacity helps you uh, recharge the batteries and better. If you have any questions about Premier or Premier items, you can give us a call at 800-282-6631 or visit our website at premierwantsupplies.com. Have a wonderful day.